It's gonna be a good day. Mark Gregory here. I live in Oxford, Ontario, Canada. You're watching Trucker Josh on YouTube. be a good day you want to know why we're going home today we're only four hours away from the yard approximately a little less we just gotta leave these trailers in the yard leave them tied down just a little bit we can take most of our straps off but we have to leave the trailers tied down a little bit just so that uh, they don't roll off because they'll be unloaded on Monday we drop them there and then we go home and that's that a little bit of a longer week this week but that's okay because this next week I'll be at home anyway so I'll have some time off now like I've been saying in my past videos, Old Blue needs some attention. Uh, regular maintenance, uh, full service, getting the tires rotated, getting a three axle alignment, uh, that kind of stuff, fun stuff. Interstate 29, that's southbound, which means that's northbound. Science. Let them sing, Blue. There you go. Feels good in the morning. Just got back into Canada, and the first thing they want to know is how much I ate and how much weight I gained. At 600 meters, turn right on Fifth Street West. I mean, I think I ate pretty well on this trip, so I think the scale is going to be pretty impressed. Like I was saying last time in Ontario, I mean, I've been working on it. And uh, I think I think they're gonna be pretty happy with my weight. Let's go see what they say. They got their inspection trucks here. And nothing to see here, folks. On the left here says stop before entering scale. So we should probably stop. But they're flashing me for the next action. 300 right? meters, keep to the okay, right on. They want me to keep straight and then turn left in 15 meters. They're saying next axle. It's just put your front, they just want you to put your front axle on the scale. And if they want you to stop, they'll tell you to stop. Otherwise, just keep rolling forward. But if the, if the light for the next axle isn't flashing, yeah, you should stop before the scale, wait for that light to flash, and then go on to the scale. It's just Turn so that you 
while they're ready. You don't know, maybe they maybe they're sitting in there having a conversation, didn't see you roll up, and they're like, oh, there's somebody here. Any time to be able to read your stickers and plates and stuff. But if you just rush through there, you know, you might give them an excuse to pull you in for an inspection. You don't want to give them any excuse to pull you in. Turn right on. Port Selkirk Parent, Highway. Highway 75. Parent, I'm trying to teach them something here. I'm trying to teach them something here. You keep talking over me. It's very rude. Turn right on. This woman, I'll throw you out the window. Yeah? Ask them what happened to Mandy. Oh yeah. I'm serious. Don't swear at me. Everybody. It's the morning. It's the afternoon, but it's a good morning for you. That's how I start late the videos. Afternoon. Good morning. Good late afternoon to you. We are in, uh, on our way to Winnipeg. Where were you going to say we're, we, we are? We, we are we're at home. We're at home. But we're on our way into Winnipeg right now. We've got to get the terrain serviced first, get the oil changed, and then head in for some drugs. Prescriptions. <laughs> Look at her fancy backpack that she got. She got four of them, right? Not the same one. Here, I'll trade you keys so you don't have to have early ones. Thank you. Welcome. My masculinity has been protected. Man card restored. Yes. You too much crap in your hands. <laughs> Can't open the gate. I got you. Canadian oil change, always there for you. It's one of these oil change places you can just drive up to. Very convenient. Mm-hmm. I think most places are like this though, even GM, I think you can just drive up. But it takes longer at GM. Yeah. And it's the same thing here. Yeah. And it's warranty approved. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have any warranty left on this thing though. Nope. We're at all up. 99,344 kilometers. Almost 100k. Oh, yeah. So we got the goods all the way to the city for a prescription. Because you can't get the prescription in Steinbeck, apparently. But since we're here, may as well make it a date. For a fancy little backpack. Look at her go. Genuine Disney. We stopped out to eat McDonald's that one day after my egg retrieval. Yeah, you were high. <laughs> I was so stoned. <laughs> and I thought that that was a plant store, but it was a chiropractic office. I'll show you guys. She had her egg retrieval. They gave her some pretty good uh, fentanyl. fentanyl. <laughs> the good stuff. It's to get her through the surgery. Yeah. And uh, she was a little loopy. 
little bit. Quite a bit loopy. Yeah, we were parked right here. You thought something was the plant store. The chiropractic office on the left. You thought that was the plant store? Yeah, because they have lots of plants in there. Oh, I so thought that I was going to ask to go in there. <laughs> I should have let you. I should have let Yeah, let's go look at the plants. <laughs> I should have let you walk in by yourself. <laughs> I wouldn't even notice. <laughs> just just see, see Britt walk into the chiropractic start smelling the plants. <laughs> Walks out with so one. Excuse me, ma'am. How much is this one? <laughs> uh, so yeah, we just got done with Boston pizza. Delicious. I had a chicken and mushroom fettuccine pasta. Yes. What did you have? I had buffalo wings and fries. Mm. And it was good. I was craving a BLT, but they don't have BLTs here. That's right, you wanted a BLT. They don't have BLT? They don't have BLTs. They got the rest of the week together. You can get me a BLT one of these days. Yeah. This is, uh, cause I'm taking vacation this week. I gotta get, like I've been saying, a bunch of stuff done to the truck. We're getting a three axle alignment on Wednesday. And then Thursday I'm dropping it off and it's gonna get a full service Friday morning. And I'm doing a full service on the pickup truck tomorrow. Got a full service on the terrain today. What else we got to get done this week? On Saturday, I have an eye appointment. Yeah. I might be getting glasses. You guys still going to like me if He's I wear glasses? I'm getting glasses. It's not a might. I might be. It's happening. Will you guys still like me? You're still going to watch me if I have glasses? Like, not sunglasses, like glasses. Glasses. Nothing. I've just never had them before. I never thought I would need them. I warn you now, they're a pain in the butt and they get filthy every five seconds. My left eye is point. De not deteriorating, but in a way, a little bit. It's a little worse than my right eye. Cheapers. I've become nearsighted in my left eye. My right one's doing pretty good still, but during the day it's not so bad, but when I get really tired, Especially at night when it's dark out, I can notice a difference between my two eyes and it sort of, they don't focus the same, so it, it messes with me. His left eye gets tired. Yeah, my left eye gets tired soon. So it's, it's not like it's super bad or anything, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like, yeah, you need glasses. <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. So that's on Saturday, 3.30 p.m. What else are we doing? Are we doing the shopping thing today or are you gonna do that tomorrow? Or I mean on Saturday. Saturday. That doesn't matter. We can just go home if you want. I'm pretty, pretty pooped. It's up to you. We could go look around at the mall for a little bit. If you want to, we'll pull apart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just just a little bit. Not, not a big shop. Just a, hoping to get a, a new dress for my friend's wedding. Cause I love the one that I wore to Ashley's wedding. Don't know if you guys saw it in the papers. Or papers. She looked good. In the pictures. Should have been in the English. papers all over the place. She <laughs> looked good. But I don't want to wear the same dress to two weddings within a month of each other. I think it's tacky. But I do love that dress. It's so comfortable and it did look really cute. Which way is Pull Park? It's that way, that isn't one. it? How that do way. I get that way? Um, not really sure. I think I might have to go that way to go that way. I think you might have to go that way to go that way. I could go that way and then go to Ellis and go that way. Yeah, there you go. Right? Is it Ellis? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I gotta go this way. Anyway, so I'm just looking for a dress. If I don't find one, I will wear the same one. I did wash it this week, so it's ready to go if I need it. So we decided against Polo Park. It's a little too busy there. I don't really like that mall either. We came out here to, uh, what is this, the outlet mall? Yeah. In tuxedo, it's the newer one, and uh, we actually had a impulse. What would you call it? An impulse urge to go see a movie. Yeah. So we bought tickets to go see the new Thor movie. Thor, love it. At the theater here on McGillivray's, a VIP theater. No kids. <laughs> no kids. Only adults. <laughs> this is not open. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't that door open? Please visit her me. Ah. I read the sign. Oh, don't put a door there if you, if you don't want people to come in there. 
Then we've got to talk to the engineer. He put too many how, doors in. I wonder how many times a day people see that. That would be the best part about working there. That looks like the main entrance. Why well, can't we go in there? I don't know. It's rude. Huh, it's rude. That's why I parked here. So we can go in there. That's okay. Heh. <laughs> so we're going to go to Torrid, my favorite store. Just see if they have any dresses. And if not, other things I'd like to buy that we can't afford. These doors work. We found our way in. Oh wow, lots of people. I've never seen this mall so busy. We always come during the day. It's not very busy at all during the day. Now there's just- We're here when it opens. So many people. Is that the one? No, it's way too big. Nothing in your size. Nothing in my size. Everything starts from 2x and up. We didn't find anything. Zero success. That's okay. Still got a week and a half till the wedding. Oh, is that quick already? Yeah, the 10th. It's coming up quick. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. It's already the 29th today. Thanks. Well, we're coming into the city again tomorrow. And Saturday and Saturday. So two more times this week yet. We'll find something. Right here we're at this uh, VIP theater. It's uh, an adult theater. They actually, they serve adult drinks and stuff at the theater. I don't know if you guys have a theater like this around where you live. This was like revolutionary when it came to Winnipeg. But uh, the seats are all like very comfy, very soft. It's almost like recliners. They they serve you at your seat. It's almost like going to a sporting event. And nobody's annoying children behind you asking questions or kicking your seat. Exactly. That's the best part. <laughs> so this is on McGilvery, on the uh, southwest side of Winnipeg. You gonna indulge in some popcorn? Oh yes, I am. That's the whole reason you go to the theater. I've got a big screen TV at home. I don't need to go to watch a movie in a theater, but there's nothing like theater popcorn. I come here for the popcorn. These used to be the cheap seats, right? Mm, I think so. I remember coming here to watch movies when it was like $3 a movie. They'd, uh, they'd play old movies. Or like uh, movies after uh, after they've been released and they're not in like regular theaters anymore, and they'd come here. But now it's not cheap seats anymore. Yes. 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 I know. Perfect. So these are the seats here. You see, they're in groups of two. And I'm using that table, but we each have our own little table. And they can lean back. Squeaky, you got squeaker. Something else going on here. Yeah. So? Oh, so good. Thor good. is my favorite Marvel character. He's the funniest. So. Yeah, it was it was awesome. Just as good as the other three. Have you guys seen seen this movie yet? What did you guys think of it? Three thumbs up. I'm lifting a toe.